Hello everyone, I'll show you how you can undervolt any RTX GPU. For it you will need two applications, one is Heaven Benchmark and second one is MSI Afterburner. You can also use HW Info tool if you want to check any other sensors reading but this is optional. Once you download and install Afterburner, open it, set the power limit 210%. Check if power limit and temperature limit is linked to each other and temperature limit is in acceptable range of 90 degrees Celsius. You can set the manual fan curve if you want. I have set mine from 0% fan speed at 40 degree, 200% fan speed at 70 degrees Celsius. Now set the memory clock to 700. Open the curve editor. Black core clock all the way towards left. We will set voltage at 900 millivolt. So select the frequency marker at 900 millivolt and increase it to 1875. This is my maximum stable frequency at 900 millivolt. Now press shift and left click near 900 millivolt and drag the pointers all the way towards your right. This will select all the frequency markers starting from 900 millivolt. Now press and hold shift and press enter two times. This will align all the frequency markers in one line. Finally select the apply button. This will undervolt your GPU at 900 millivolt at 1875 megahertz. You may notice that some of the markers are not aligned. What you can do here is again set the 900 millivolt marker to 1875 MHz and uh, press and hold shift and press enter two times to realign all of them. Now run the Heaven benchmark, let it run completely. If the settings are stable then Heaven benchmark will not crash. If the settings are not stable for your GPU then the Heaven benchmark will crash to desktop. In this case you can reduce the frequency to 1850 or 1825 MHz. After setting the frequency run the Heaven benchmark again to test the stability. Once you get the stable frequency at 900 millivolt, you can set the profile in Afterburner and set it to apply at Windows Startup. I have created a table for my GPU for stable frequencies at different millivolts for my own reference. I usually keep it at 850 millivolts. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel.